Today's guest on my podcast is myself. Welcome, Fielding. I'm happy to be here. So, today I'm going to talk about the lost art of skipping. What are you doing? Shh, I'm recording. Just Do I feel hot to you? Why? Just feel my forehead. You feel clammy. Do we have um, that thing that measures the oxygen in the blood, the uh, oxyometer, the oxygen? Oxometer? Yeah, that. Do we have that? Uh -huh. What is that? Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing? <laughs> what is that? Grief cough. <laughs> I have O positive blood, so that's a good thing. No, do you feel sick? I don't know. I had gastric disturbances last night. Oh, we know. The neighborhood huh. knows. Asaka knows. Do we have a hot water bottle? <laughs> Hey, here, feel, feel my forehead again. No. Feel my forehead? No, I, I need a thermometer. Where's the thermometer? Okay, well, you, you took the parking structure ticket at Vons, and, and you didn't wash your hands afterwards. What? You, you wash your hands really weirdly, Larry. No. I've been telling you. Nine thermometers in this house, and I can't find one. You hugged Gary. Didn't you say that Gary was, like, spitting when he was telling stories of that sad actor's dinner in the alley behind BevMo? Gary, you're right. When he was talking to me, a piece of spit went through the air, and it landed on my face. No. It could be my Epstein bar. It could be Corona. It could be just sadness. What is it? I don't know yet. Damn thing. I. Oh no. What? 88.8. 88.8? That's low. It could be like a new form of Corona, the Swedish variant. Oh my God, sounds like a spy thriller. Oh, gastric disturbance. Okay, you have to stop saying gastric disturbances. Oh, I can't boy. handle it. Oh boy, this isn't good. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hot uh, or cold? What? Both. I don't know. Well, at least you're gonna get my SAG pension. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute, did we ever do our will? We don't have a will. You don't need a will. You don't own anything. All you have is an autograph Beatles book that you paid $5,000 for on eBay like a moron? I can't believe you're bringing up the Beatles now. I hate the Beatles. I hear I am a walrus and I want to lay down and die. Oh, God. If I had known that, I never would have married you. Okay, I need a will, honey. I don't want you to be the one to decide to pull the plug on me. Well, I don't want you to be the one to pull the plug on me. Well... Even though I have many, 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 many more years to live. Fielding, this is serious. I need to quarantine. All right, 100,000 people are contracting coronavirus every single day. It's Modesto and Bakersfield and, and Fresno, right? No, you don't know that. My God, you don't even watch the news. You get your news from t-shirts. Ah. I need an Arctic Frost Gatorade. We don't carry a lot of sports drinks because you're not an athlete. Hi. Hi. Are we going to the hospital? You're not supposed to go unless you're gasping for breath. And I'm not dying in a parking lot waiting. What do you have? I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. What? Do me a favor, honey. Don't post anything about this on social media. Why? Are you kidding me? This kid's out. They're going to put me on a no-hire list. My agent will drop me. Your agent still calls you Ross. You never corrected him. It's OK. I don't mind the name Ross. I hate the name Larry. Well, you scream Larry to me. OK. I've never met a bigger Larry. Honey, would you listen to me? This could turn in a second. I need to get my affairs in order. Stop bellowing at me. I'm your only hope. We got to call that strange lawyer. See if he's available. Set up a Zoom meeting. Is he on? I think so. Hey. Hello? Hey, Eugene, yeah. Hi, OK, Larry. you're on. Here he is, he's on. Press the button. You there? Oh, he's Hi, Larry. You audio. Press Hello? the button, Eugene. And then, Hello? Oh, there he is. OK, that's it. Did it's you working. Pick up? Hey, no, the Eugene, just press the button, and then you'll be Hi, on. Larry. I can't, you got to back up. You just see your ear. I can't see you either. Back, back up. up, back up. Back up. Yeah, it's Eugene. I know it is. Hi, Eugene. Hey, listen, uh, sorry to hear you're not well. Thank you. Uh, I, well, I, I need a will. Yeah, not well, huh? No, will. A will. Yeah. Will. I hate Zoom, don't you? Yeah, I hate it too. Don't you just hate it? What I'll just come over. No, 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 do no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no stay no, there. Please, no. No, this All right, is... I'll just be there. No, 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 don't. no, no. 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 Go get it up. No way. Go, 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 go. I'm. 
Oh, this is wonderful, right? So intimate. No screens, you know, it's you, it's me, it's us. We're back. Right. We don't even know what Larry has. He yeah, hasn't been to a doctor. I could be dying. Uh huh. I don't know if he's dying. We haven't been to a hospital. I've lost my sense of smell. Never mind. I, I do have it still. Okay, so yeah, we should probably yes. just. We should probably get going because I don't know how much time I have left before I am on a ventilator, hopelessly staring at my wife on FaceTime. So. Uh, okay, well, that's too bad. Are there any prior wills, power of attorney, uh, prior estate planning? Do you guys own property in another state? Probably not, right? I mean, you guys are doing okay, but certainly not killing it. Like, not like a second house couple, I can tell. So we need to talk about end of life directives. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, DNR. What is, what's DNR? Yes, you get it. No, what is DNR? Exactly. Do not resuscitate. 100%. No, DR. What? DR. Do, do resuscitate. Nobody wants that. DR. Really? Yes. Okay. We'll talk about that. DR. Let's table it. I'd like to make a request. Yes. Um, I'd like to leave an ethical will. I'd like my future offspring just to adhere to a certain moral code. What are you talking about? Are you kidding? Future offspring? You're barren. And you're not even a good person. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm assuming, Fielding, you're doing all end-of-life directives. No, 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 she's not going to handle that. No, I, she's not even my emergency contact. He's not my emergency contact, so let that go on record, no. even Here's though you're what, not recording. Eugene, I want to be cremated, and I want my ashes spread over Yosemite Falls, and then the other half, I want them to be sprinkled over a respected community theater in the Valley. Wow, you are passionate about your theater, aren't you? But, I mean, what you're talking about, is that even legal? You know, there's people there. Plus, there's like 900,000 theaters in the valley. Eugene, I was born in the theater. I'd like to be interred there. Do you think I'm hiking up Yosemite Falls with a camelback and Sherpas and then doing a little theater scavenger hunt in Valley Village and then sprinkling your fat ashes in the theater aisles with whatchamacallit wrappers? Just put them down the chimney. Get a harness or a drone and just dump them. You ever seen a theater chimney? You know what? Last year, my wife and I saw this magnificent one act. It was in a beautiful barn in West Toluca Lake, well ventilated. It was about a gal who was in a wheelchair who had never had an orgasm. Now I can't remember if it was because of the accident or she couldn't orgasm because of some, like, you know, some psychological thing, like, but she could not orgasm. And again, psychological, I don't know. Uh, severed spine, they didn't say. But horrible. that's horrible. Yeah. yeah. It's really horrible. Not good. I mean, if I couldn't nut, I would say DNR. <laughs> you know, so yeah, what I'm going to do is we'll use that theater. That's where I'm going to put your ashes. Uh, it's called Babbling Brook or something like that. Real peppy cast. Babbling Brook, wasn't that founded by Gary Marshall? Yep. Yep. I don't know if he is a client of yours, but I've always wanted to introduce Gary to my work. Unfortunately, Gary's dead. He's passed. He is. Yeah, he's dead, Larry. Oh. He, I tell you what, I once played bridge with Gary Marshall in Beijing. Mm. And I gotta tell you, he has to be one of the nicest guys in show business. You know, they, they say that Tom Hanks is a nice, but he's a piece of shit compared. Oh, oh God, that silly husk is really going to work. Oh, it's oh, now. Oh, oh, now? it's right now. Oh, you need? Oh, yeah. Uh, can I get in, no, in the no, house? It's in there, but, but yeah. There's uh, a coffee bean on yeah, La Fienega. I'm going to be fine. There's a Starbucks, a large money.